What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Over 4. In this video we're going to be doing stage 9 of uh, Build the Ghostbusters X01. Um, the other issues that we've just been doing on the engine, absolutely fantastic. We're continuing that now. We're doing the, the carburetor and the air filter. What we're going to do is we are going to grab our issue here. We're just going to grab all the pieces out and then we're going to talk through what we have. And then we're going to attach them to the engine and get this engine built even more. Um, to look more fantastic than it can ever look before. So we're going to go grab them and do that now. Okay guys, well, before we go in and mention these, I just want to show you a little top tip of opening these bags. So if you just put your finger and your thumb on there and then you just twist that like that, that will open the bag up. And then you can tip out your screws and then you can just seal it back up again when you're finished. Um, if you do have a little pot to put them in, that will be handy. Uh, but there's just a little top tip there for you. Right, so when you're going to do it in this magazine, you have to go back and check all your pieces at the start of the uh, magazine that they give you. I do like that they've got it all compact in this one um, magazine here because then you're not going to need as many binders, which means you're just not going to have so many magazines because it's always got too many magazines. Right, so stage nine parts, we'll try and go through those really quick. What I'm going to do is just pop the screwdriver under there and get the trusty tweezers. 09A is the fast idle cam, and that is going to be this hooky section here. There's so much to build up on this. Um, 09B, which is going to be, and that, pardon the pun, um, it's going to be the section with the hole. So yeah, that's going to be that section there. Um, then you've got the fast idle cam support, which is 09C, uh, which is going to be this little section here. 09D is the fuel inlet, which is going to be that one there. And then the choke cap, which is 09E, is this one here. And then the carburetor, which is 09F, is this section here. And then the air filter is going to be 09G. And the air filter is going to look a bit like this one here. So that's 09G, 09 I is going to be the air filter inlet. Um, where is 09I? Oh, okay, that's this section here, the air filter inlet, which is this black section there. And then the air filter cover, which is 09J, which is going to be um, this. So this section is the air, this is 09G, and this is 09J. So the air filter screw is going to be, oh, well, I missed 09H, sorry. So 09H is going to be this round section here. Um, and then we've got the air filter screw, which is 09K, which is this tiny little cap here. Um, and then also the fuel pipe, which is this black section here. So that's the fuel pipe. And then the rest are the BP screws, DP screws, EP screws, and GP screws. So once we've checked all those off, the best thing to do is make sure they're all there because you don't want to start building this and then they're not there because you want to sort that out before you continue um, because you will forget to put things together when you when it comes to it. Right, so put that screwdriver out of the way there. Right, so the first thing we want is the 09B section and the 09B section on this is going to be that zigzaggy piece which looks like that. And we need to, again, I'm going to have to build them over here because they're so small. Um, we're going to have to get like a zoomed in camera at some point. Um, and we've got to attach that to 09C using a BP screw. And 09C is this little lower section here. This is so fiddly. Really is fiddly to hold that together. And then to try and put a screw in there. Um, is They're just trying to test us. They are trying. This is a test. Right, so we need to put a BP screw in. So we're just going to quickly go put one of those in. We'll be back in a sec. So guys, this is the crazy piece that they've asked us to put together. So we had to piece this micro piece there, which is 09C to 09B, using a, um, a BP screw through there. And that's what that's supposed to look like. So it's hard to see because it's so small. I feel like they could have just made this section. Um, I don't know as be as a collect as a you know as a model builder, should I say? How do you feel about building this up? How much of this you've got to build? Do you feel like it's unnecessary, or do you enjoy doing this bit? Um, I mean, I like doing that. I think it's fun. 
to do it. Uh, but there's so many tiny pieces to do. Um, I'm just not sure whether they could have just one made one piece or is that just being a bit too lazy, I'm not sure. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've just got to attach this to this other section now. So I'm attaching 09A to um, figure B, which we've just built, and it's asking us to use an EP screw. The EP screw is quite big, and I'm hoping that it's the right size because they have been known to use wrong screws in the past. So I'm just going to attach that in there using that screw all the way up as far as it will go. It's quite a hefty screw. So there you go. So that's what that's asking us to do there. It's a little bit wonky. I'm not sure if it's meant to be. Let's see if I can tighten up a little bit more. There we go. That should be fine now. It's not really moving now. Tiny bit more. There we go. Okay, so that's now on that section there. So I'm going to get tweezers to show you again. So this is um, 09A attached to figure B using the EP screw. Um, it's quite hard to see it, but there you go. That goes through there. And that is what that section should look like at that stage. Quite difficult um, to see. Uh, and then we need to attach it to 09F. So they're now calling this figure C. Um, and we now need to attach that this way around into there using a GP screw. Um, and GP screws, as you may know, are really tiny screws. So you need to try and find the right head to put these ones in. And I know this is all going to fall apart as I tried to build it. But we're going to try. I really need to invest in that screwdriver. You know what, guys? The next video I do. I will have the screw that really nice screwdriver that everybody else has. I don't know why. I, it's because Emma is the one that orders everything of Amazon. And I usually just say, oh, I just need to get this. But I need to tell her precisely what it is that I need so she can get it from me because she has the Amazon Prime account. Um, as I thought that that might not go in using that screwdriver. Let's try this one. Again, not that one. Uh, let's try this one. The heads on these are so tiny that you have to be careful to get the right screwdriver head. This one will be fine. Remember, don't do it up too tight, guys. You don't want to over tighten it and ruin it. Um, but I will show you this um, close up. I just need to get it into position. So there you go. So I'm going to use the tweezers again so you can see it. So using um, figure C, you need to make sure that that is attached. Uh, we're using a GP screw just in there like so. Make sure you have it around the right way. So you still want to, you want to do it um, so that that section is up that way. Guys, this I've just put this in the wrong side. So I'm just, I'm looking at it around the wrong way. So I'm just going to just change it around. Um, into the way it's meant to go so just bear with me a sec while I just quickly do that I just showed you that wrong so just scrap that for one second we just got to do it this way round sorry so there you go so you want to make sure that 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 flat section there this flat section is at the bottom and that it's coming out this side not the other way around so make sure you do that that's why you watch these videos guys to make sure that you do yours right we do ours wrong to, so you can do yours right right so there you go um, so 09D, um, which is this um, tiny little section here, uh, needs to go in again with another GP screw at the bottom. It has got a locating lug, which is good. I just got to just push that into place. So that might hold that in while I go get that um, GP screw in. I'm hoping that's going to be the case because it will make my life so much easier when putting this together. I know we usually fast forward through most of this, but we're keeping it going because they're not taking long to do. If I can get it in there. So this screwdriver is not very good. It's so many, I've got so many screwdrivers, I don't know which one is the best. I really need to pick out which one is good. That one's no good, so it must be this one. 
here we go, so I don't know why I didn't just get that one in the first place. Okay, so now that section is done. So that is O9D held in by a GP screw there, um, just at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, I try and hold it still. Uh, so that's the GP screw, and then that is the O9D. It's asking us to have that pointy bit coming out on the edge like that. O9E is this last silver piece which goes on the last section where I put the wrong piece. Um, I'm just going to put that into place now and that's using another uh, GP screw. So I'm going to hopefully use the right one this time. There are spares, there's always spares which is good. So if you ever do drop one or lose one, you do have spares. And I always find that you have loads left over in the other packets as well which is really good of them to give a spare one. So. Just going to quickly attach this. So that now on that section is complete. So I'm just going to show you the tweezers what that should look like. This is going to sit on the top of the engine. You're probably not going to see most of this, but there you go. So that is how that should look at this stage. And then upside down, it should look a little bit like that. What we need to do now is we need to take the engine. We need to make sure we get around the right way when we're installing this piece. And then this should sit down on like so. Let's let go of it. And then hopefully it will just push in just down there like that. So there you go. So that is how that's meant to look. So you can see on top there, that's how it sits on top of the engine. And then what it's asking us to do next, it's asking us to put in this little black hose, so the little black hose here will go onto that tiny little nib at the end there. So what we'll do is we'll just hopefully be able to push that on. You might have to use the tweezers. Most of the time if you if you hold it at the end, you can just use your hand to push it on. So there you go, so that's that. And then they're just asking us to sweep that round and just pop that on the end there. I will bring it close for you in a sec guys, just so you can see. So there you are, just use a pointing screwdriver. Um, so you're coming off the top of here there, you're going looping round, let's hold that in a position you can see, it's looping round there and then going on top of there like that, on that section, okay? Right, so we're going to move on to what it wants us to do next. We're just going to pop the engine out of the way for one moment because this next bit shouldn't be too difficult to do, I'm hoping. So we need to have O9H. And we need to attach a little air filter section. There should be a little cutout, which there is just there. And that will fit in to there somehow. So we're just going to see what way around it's supposed to go, whether you can put it in the wrong way around. It looks like you can only get it in one way. So you can't really get that in wrong. If I just turn it around the other way, let's just see if it looks any better than it did the other way around. So no, it just fits in either way around. So you, you can't really get it wrong at all. You want to hold that in with an EP screw. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly pop an EP screw into the top of there. So there we go guys, that's how that section is done. Um, oh, it's helped me elbow on the side. Um, so that's the EP screw that goes in there and that just holds that filter in. It's not brilliant to be able to see it, but it's just there. And then that can't go around the wrong way, so you'll be fine on that. But right, so you just need to just pop that down for a moment. You will need to take the engine. We're going to take it to about there so you can see and what it's asking us to do is take O9G. So O9G, and I know there's a little section under here that I'm missing, there we go, um, is this little flat plate here with the little ridge which is just around there. Um, it is cut out into a section where you can't get it around the wrong way. Um, so what you need to do is just pop it down there. I'm not too sure whether we'll have to take this off at some point because we will probably have to put the hoses onto the distributor cap. Uh, whether we are doing that or not, I don't know. Um, but we'll come back to that at a later date, but it won't be hard to take this off. So um, the next thing it wants us to do is to put on the air filter facing away from us. So that will just sit on there for that section there. And then on top of that, we'll go this section. So again, it has a little cutout. So just line it up until it fits. Let's hope that it just goes in around the right way. I don't know whether you can put this in first. 
Okay, so yeah, there is a cutout in there for this to go in. So make sure you just got it in with the cutout section. And then that should just line up on there nicely. So just, I'll just feel for it and just to turn it around until it doesn't move. So that is that there. And then you just need to put in a DP screw at the top. Uh, so a DP screw is, is a quite a thick screw. So we're just going to put one of those in at the top there to hold it into place. See if it lets us put one of these in. This is fun. I really do like this bit. Okay, and then on top, it wants us to put that little um, piece, which is already pre-cut out as well. That just fits in the top section there. So what we'll do is just push that down in there as well, so it looks like a little wing nut. Uh, again, you'll probably be able to take that out at some stage if you want to. And there you have it. So that is how that air filter section is done on there. So that's a distributor and air filter on top. Um, then that look really cool? So there you go, just spin that around that way, just so you can see it. It's at a bit of an angle, but that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's sitting. And then that's got the little wing nut at the top there. Looks really nice, I do like that. So there you go, guys. Um, let me just hold it up one more time, just so you can get a nice look at it. There you go. Right, so we're just gonna pop that down. We're just gonna flick through and see what it shows is coming in the next issues. So it says on here that the next stage 10, which is going to be issue 10, we're going to do the generator and the oil filter. Guys, I can't wait to do that with you. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.